Hey fellow ham geeks, my name is Chris Matthew and I'm the founder of 73's and my call sign is N7ICE. Uh, for my birthday, uh, many of you helped me pick out a, uh, a Flex 1500 uh, software defined radio from Flex Radio Systems. And I got it on the air for the first time this weekend and um, as you can tell from the video, I'm definitely not a pro. There's lots of uh, areas to learn. And uh, Software Defined Radio is a, a, an amazing uh, a platform that everything is controlled from the software. So you get the little radio, and this is what my uh, Flex Systems uh, Flex 1500 looks like. Um, there's the power button, USB that plugs into your um, machine, and it requires Windows. <laughs> I'm a Mac guy, so I had to uh, install Boot Camp and Windows 7, which was uh, took the week, the previous weekend to get going. Um, it's got a place for headphones, or you can uh, jack right into your um, mic on your your uh, PC or Mac, and then a uh, microphone jack, which is um, I just used my uh, Yaesu 857D mic, worked really well, and then a CW key uh, if you are into that. I still trying to learn. <laughs> and then look at the back. Pretty cool. Um, I just connected uh, the ground and then um, my 20 meter, me, me 20 meter dipole to this BNC connector and then um, uh, the, the DC jack uh, which I just use like a, a Craftsman uh, luggable battery uh, pack uh, to this. So 5 watts QRP I was on the air and I made a contact uh, with K0 LM, LNB, which is in uh, Golden, Colorado, out in uh, KD0 BIK's uh, backyard. So, I um, hope you enjoy this. Uh, there's definitely lots of um, uh, opportunities to improve my, my use of SDR, especially when I transmit. Um, it, I, it was going through an equalizer and coming out the speakers. It sounded worse than than, than regular, so I'm surprised he could hear me at all. But uh, check it out. Hi, this is November 7, India Charlie Echo. November 7, India Charlie Echo in Phoenix, Arizona. QRP. Okay, N7 ICE. Let me see uh, if I can pinpoint where you're at here. I've got uh, QRZ on the computer here, and if I type your call in there, uh, I might be able to tell uh, where to turn a beam. ICE it was. Let's see what that brings up here. Uh, N7ICE. Uh, it says your name is Christopher. I thought I thought uh, I thought I copied C, but it says Christopher here in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm I'm pretty much uh, south here on the beam. So uh, uh, there, Steve. I'll go just a little bit more south, but that should kind of be Phoenix, about where I'm at now. Uh, so. Uh, uh, try it once more. Uh, do I have your, uh, your? I have your call right, I think, Christopher. And if you're in Phoenix, you might okay that and let me know if you're a night member or not. M7 ICE K0 LMD. Go ahead. Roger, this is November 7, India Charlie Echo. I am a Knight of Columbus in Phoenix, Arizona. So, November 7, India Charlie Echo. Thanks very much for the contact. I'm operating QRP. So that this is pretty amazing. So I'm operating QRP with a Flex uh, 1500 uh, software-defined radio, and uh, I just checked into the Knights of Columbus net. Uh, I'm using my MacBook Pro, using Boot Camp into Windows 7, and uh, this is what the software looks like. The Power SDR software. 
Um, here's the uh, the frequency we're operating on, and uh, that's 20 meters, 14 megahertz, uh, 14.243 megahertz. And you see the spikes in the um, the audio here. We're right in in there, and um, the waterfall is a neat effect. You can see where other stations are talking in the software, and it makes it real easy to tune around and find um, other stations by just glancing at the uh, audio spikes. So this is my first time uh, getting the Flex 1500 running. Yeah, what's your name? And I'm sure I'm going to have, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a ton of things in here to play with, like all these filters um, just built in, uh, noise reduction, noise blocking, um, man. All sorts of interesting things. There's my uh, dipole antenna. It's not very high off the ground. It looks like it's about 10 feet. And on this particular day, February the 11th, they laughed out what it was. But the subject was the song of Bernadette, and I believe there's a movie made like that. And uh, Oops, so it looks like there's another uh, station over here around 14225. So I can zoom out or pan out, I guess, as it were. That'll give us a little bit more wider view on the um, the bands. So the waterfall here should be able to catch more. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ham Brief, and um, we're going to be having more uh, SDR Flex 1500 uh, expeditions. So that was just the first. Um, I also wanted to show you the Flex controller. Uh, this is what I was using um, uh, in, in the video. It's $100 um, extra in addition to the $1,500. Uh, it's a separate purchase. And it's just a USB uh, connector. goes into your machine. And it really does add to the, 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 the experience. It makes it feel like you're truly operating a, uh, an old school radio. And um, it has like click buttons and you can set it up for these macros like one click or a double click or a long click and make the power SDR software do all sorts of things auxiliary buttons have no idea what they do yet but uh, uh, I'm very interested to uh, continue to explore and learn more about this radio so definitely uh, worth worth uh, an investment of my time and uh, probably yours as well so until next time stay tuned <laughs>